Alright, mic check. I hope you guys can hear me okay. And I'm going to start the recording. There we go. Hi Ari, do you want a mic, buddy? Do you want a mic, Mike? I need one more thing before we can get started here. Well, two things. Uh, make it three. Hang on, though. <laughs> Won't take long. Uh. All right, I got my chair. Mailbox. And the coffee. That'll do for now. Okay. Let's have a seat right here and see what these camera angles look like. Oh, hi, bud. Okay. Okay, I'm sitting a little bit far away, but if I move this camera right here, I think that'll get you guys close-ups. You only have to move it a little bit, or maybe move me a little bit. Didn't think of that, did you? Okay, let's see now. All right. Uh, let's see, I gotta take these headphones off too. Hang on. How are we? Good morning. Uh, let's do this. Um, great. Okay. It is, uh, I guess I'm two minutes late, but uh, not too bad. And today is the day before Teaspoon's birthday, technically. And we might even end up having some mailbag tomorrow because I'd like to finish on time. As usual, I've got a, a backlog of things that I need to get done. Um, a little bit worse than usual <laughs> since... Uh, my uh, my desktop right now is not in a usable state. Um, desktop computer, I mean, you know, insert techno babble here. Uh, but I'd like to get that fixed as soon as possible, since I really lean on it for everything. Um, and uh, I got a big part of it done last night, but it was just it was too late. It was I don't know. I must have been up until two in the morning, almost. If you know, something like that. Anyway, neither here nor there. Uh, Let's see, I should check to make sure you guys can hear me. Let's just uh, ask here real quick on the Discord. Good, okay, yes, it sounds like I must be audible. Fantastic. And that means uh, we can just jump right in. There's The only news this week, as far as I know, is that uh, it is uh, Teaspoon's one-year birthday, and uh, his surgery um, is not scheduled yet, but we have the appointment to schedule his surgery. Uh, I might as well check so I can tell you for sure, whoops, which day it is. Uh, let's see. According to my calendar, the 14th is Valentine's Day. I see that, and that is also the day that uh, Callie and her kittens are going to return to the vet for their second appointment there. And I will try to schedule her spay while we're there. I'll probably schedule everybody's space while we're there. We usually do that at the second appointment, so uh, that will happen. Then, according to this, in the week after, on the 19th, uh, Loganberry has his dental visit. And then the week after that, uh, we've got Ari getting his dental on the 26th, and then Logan getting, uh, not Logan, Teaspoon, 
Teaspoon getting his uh, checkup for his surgery on the 27th. So the 27th is when we will go and see his cardiologist and the cardiologist will tell us, uh, fingers crossed, I mean, I can't imagine at this point he's going to want to put it off any longer. Um, I'm sure he's going to tell us then that we can go ahead and schedule that surgery for him. Uh, so that will, that'll be when we find out. Other than that, um, I don't think there's anything much going on. So let's just get right into it here. Need a letter opener. Fantastic. This is from DJ, the other DJ, and it says three year subscriber and it says birthday card. Very cute. We've got a sticker with little cartoons of a kitty and a caterpillar. Boy, that kitty looks familiar. I must know whatever art this is from. Uh, and then there's a gingerbread man. Very cute. All right. Oh, it says party animal, and it is a bunch of watercolors of, of uh, pets, various pets, dogs and cats and a rabbit and a turtle, all wearing party hats. It's very cute. There's even this little golden retriever that has a kitten playing with its ribbon. Uh, that's adorable. Oh, and there's a dirge, a dirge, a dirge, a dirge, words, um, a uh, donation there for teaspoon surgery, it says. It says, money for surgery fund. Thank you so much. That is really sweet of you guys to help out with that. Um, it says, love you, Teaspoon. Time to celebrate and unleash the fun. Happy birthday to the newest and sweetest faculty. One year already. Thanks for such a great Kitten Academy. Prayers for your upcoming surgery from DJ uh, Diane. Thank you, DJ Diane. All right, I'm just going to put that up here because that's very cute. I don't know. Hopefully, it's somewhat visible. Here, I guess... This, is, this was the plan, right? Let me see how that looks at this angle. To show it off this way. Um, how does that look? Uh, it would help if I went to the right window. And was connected still. Oh, that's not it at all. Okay, i got to pay attention now. Why? Oh, no, that is it. Okay, it's just a little washed out from the light coming in that window, though, isn't it? How do we fix that, I wonder? Maybe I should close the window for a little bit? I don't know. I guess I'll just have to hold anything I want you guys to see right up here. Okay, getting that angle right stuff. All right, we'll work on it. We'll get it figured out. It's a very cute card. Thank you, Diane. Okay. This is addressed to Professor Teaspoon. I was going to do today's mailbag with Till, and then I realized it's, it's Teaspoon's birthday. Oh, this one's already open. All right. I guess the uh, post people must have had a look at it. Um, I was going to do it with Till today, and then I realized it's Teaspoon's birthday, and even then I thought about it, but then there were so many boxes, I figured just easier to do it down here this time with the kittens. So this is a very shiny birthday card. It says, a birthday note to wish you happiness today, and then to tell you to you make the world a nicer place just by being you. Happy birthday from Ginger Tuffy Cat. Oh, it says, we love you, Teaspoon. There we go. And that's April in Asheville. This note has been approved to read on stream. Oh, wow, another, okay, a donation. Thank you for that. Very kind. And where is Teaspoon? I made sure that he, oh, he's sitting in his favorite little bed behind me, one of his favorite beds. Let's move him out here where you guys can just see him if he's going to stay in the bed. Stay in the bed, buddy. Don't get up. Don't get up for us. You're fine right where you are. There we go. Now, let's see. Is that a little bit visible? He still likes this bed. Okay, it says, hello, Mr. A, Dr. DJ, and happy birthday to Professor Teaspoon. I can't believe it's been a year since you came into our lives, and I'm so grateful for KA allowing us to share this experience. Teaspoon studied hard and showed his dedication to the Academy, so he was rewarded with a permanent position. We are the ones who are truly rewarded, though, since we are able to watch him and all the other mom, cats, and kittens as they progress to their forever homes. It was such a happy little accident for me that I stumbled upon Kitten Academy many years ago on YouTube, and it's been on my TV every day since then. Mine, too. I've enclosed a gift for Spoon to use as he sees fit. He can buy himself a new toy. One can never have enough ball tracks. Uh, do some maintenance on his car, <laughs> splurge on some gourmet chimkin, or use it for his upcoming surgery. I trust he will put it to good use. 
My household has now grown to three cats, and I learned so much from watching the live stream and chatting with other Discorders. This is a wonderful community you've created, and it is the best place to be on the internet. I avoid all social media, but won't give up my Discord stream and the friends I have made there. Speaking of friends, I can't wait to attend KACon this year and see everyone in person. The committees are already hard at work to make sure we have an incredible experience, and we owe them a huge debt of gratitude. Jubilation Recorder Band rocks! Thank you again for sharing your heart and home, and as always, pet kittens and ramble on. From April in Asheville, a.k.a. Ginger Tuffy Cat, with my boys Joey and G and my little girl Neo. Oh, that's so sweet. Wow. Um, so, yes, uh, let's see. There were things in there that I wanted to respond to, uh, which was... First off, uh, the community, I was talking this morning about how uh, I love seeing the gifts that people have been posting um, of Teaspoon when he was a little kitten. And when DJ is at work, I, I think it makes her uh, happy that I... I usually copy the URLs for those and send them to her, um, and she always enjoys that. So I think that's that's really cute and helpful uh, for her. And uh, yeah, Discord's just a wonderful place with wonderful people. I can't really take any credit for it, but just like you say, I avoid all social media. I also have been, I've been cutting myself off from uh, not just social media in general, but uh, the news, and also very uh, specifically trying not to follow any of the news at all for some time now, and I feel like it's only improved my mental health. Uh, so uh, I completely approve of that as a, as a thing to do. And then, of course, KACon and Jubilation, the recorder band. I think that's so great. I thought that was going to be a one-time thing, and it wasn't, and it's so wonderful. I just, everybody is fantastic. I mean, the recorder band was going to be a one-time thing. I didn't even think KACon would be a thing, uh, but that's a whole other story. So, uh, yeah, I just I couldn't agree more with everything you said there. Uh, fantastic. This is from Fry, it says, uh, which is uh, that you pointed out in the return address that it's the same as Fry. Uh, this is a big one-year-old birthday card. Uh, there we go. I don't know. I'm trying. I'm not looking at what I'm doing. And inside it says, Teaspoon, you are wonderful, thunderful, and you're loved a tonderful. Happy birthday, you little uggo alien <laughs> with love, Joe and Happers. <laughs> I love it. You are still a little uggo alien, and we love you for it, buddy. Oh, oh, wow, another donation. Thank you so much for that as well. There we go. I'm just going to put that right in the box. Thank you. That's really, everybody's so generous. Too, too generous. Sincerely, I mean that, too generous. Um, uh, okay. Dear Teaspoon, we hope you have an amazing first birthday. As you came into the world, you stole the hearts of all. Your life from the beginning was full of challenges. Visit after visit with the amazing Dr. P and Dr. K. Sleepless nights from your human dad and mom, Chris and DJ. We watched from afar, helping whenever we could, sending love and hope every minute of every day to you that you would be okay. We've watched you struggle, we've watched you persevere, but more importantly, we've watched you overcome. You've been enshrined in memes, gifts, and of course our hearts for all time. When it was announced you would become a permanent member of the household, we were overjoyed and look forward to seeing you every day. You are faculty. Uh, a very big thank you to your new parents, Chris and DJ, for everything as well. Happy birthday, Teaspoon. We wish you many more to come. With love, Joe and Haffers. P.S. Have your mom and dad buy you some chimkin and chew and maybe a toy with the enclosed gift cards. Uh, am I petting you too much, buddy? You're like, I wouldn't want to sleep in my room. Okay, but pal, that's fine. I'm sorry. Very disturbed. Uh, Joe Haffers, thank you guys so much. Thank you for um, the wonderful thoughts and, of course, the generous donation to Teaspoon's Fund. He's got more money than we do at this point. You are going to have to take us out to dinner someday. Mwah. Okay. Here, let me get this little bit of... I hope that's not, not a scab. I, did I just pull off a scab? No, I think it's just snot. Okay. He is, um, I was talking about this, his, his heart condition sort of gives him an extra fluid buildup, and that's why his eyes are always weepy. It's also why I should weigh him for you guys so you can tell. He's, you know, he's much smaller than uh, the cats that are, even the kittens that are younger than him, quite a bit younger than him. He's smaller than they are, <clears throat> but he's very dense, and I think it's because he's got, you know, all that 
um, well, retained fluid, frankly. And uh, it'll be interesting to see. I don't know whether after he gets his surgery, if that will change, you know, if he'll become uh, lighter or even smaller, you know, um, if the eye weeping will entirely stop. Uh, So many questions. It will be very interesting to see how that works out. In due time. All right. Uh, Hi, buddy. That was the letters, I think. So I'm just going to start right here with this very holographic package that came last week and said, please save for the mailbag today. It's probably also uh, badly washed out at that angle, but that's okay. Hi. Hi, Holly. What are you doing? Hi, little Holly. Okay. It's like that bridge where people put their bike locks, <laughs> um, or just any locks, I guess. Uh, I don't even know where that is off the top of my head. Uh, why do I want to say France? Anyway, we got uh, callers from kittens that have previously attended the academy. Stuck on here for no real reason. Okay, what on earth? Oh, hang on. There's a card in here that is stuck in. There we go. Hi, Maggie. It says, okay to read on stream. Teaspoon. Fantastic. And a little plastic box. Interesting. Very interesting. Maggie, do you want to sit in my lap? Come here. Maggie, you want some lap time? Come here. No? Somebody? Hey, 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 you don't hiss at Custard. Oh, my goodness. Custard, do you want to come on up here? Okay, maybe we'll get somebody. Meanwhile, let's see what our card is. (laughs) It appears to be a a llama, an alpaca. I guess I wouldn't know the difference. I'm going to say alpaca, actually. There we go. There we go. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Trying. Okay. Uh, Making a funny face. It says, card too small. Please see enclosed. Happy birthday with lots of love. I see. So it is a llama. That works. And, because lots and love are spelled with two L's each, Dear Teaspoon. Okay, he's behind the camera here, so I can still talk to him. He's, uh, it looks like he's about to jump on t- to Custard. That would be bold. Dear Teaspoon, how are you? Do you miss us? We're doing great in our new home. This new lady gives us allowance money, allowance money for doing fun things around the house, like helping make sure the sun rises every day. I, Squally, use my fine hunting skills on wand feather toys and crinkly balls. Turns out that Wellies is a brave guard cat. He's always ready to defend against anything that makes a loud, sudden noise. Both of us still clean noses, of course. Anyway, Teaspoon, we miss you very much. We both remember how nice you were to play with us and take naps with us when we were little. Do you get any allowance money for babysitting? This new lady and shiny butler, what is a shiny butler anyway, say that you have a birthday. We don't know what that is. She says, we've not had one yet. We all went shopping and we picked out something for your neck. We saw pictures of you wearing something similar with blue sunglasses. We hope it fits because Wellies and I each tried it on and it was too small. Oh, Uh, hang on now. What do we got? This is, oh, I see. Uh, We've got an extender. Let's see. Uh, We saw pictures uh, with blue sun. This is so cute. Okay. We hope it fits because Wellies and I each tried it on and it was too small. We still don't quite understand what allowance money is for, but we heard you have medical bills. So we are sending you our savings for now. Aw. Oh, wow. This is some bling. Look at that. It is a gold chain with little bells on it, and it is heavy. Ooh, that's cute, too. Teaspoon's looking right at it. Teaspoon, what do you think, buddy? I think it might it might fit his neck. It's going to be a, a close thing. We'll see. It's very heavy. Oh, my goodness, and a very uh, generous donation here. Please tell your shiny butler that we miss his nose and his spookles. We're told that we wouldn't be here without him, and we think that's a good thing. Aw. Um... We watch you on TV every day. We love you, Teaspoon. Sign Squall and Wellingtons. Oh, I still miss those two so much. But it's it's good to know, um, and I do know how well they are doing in their new home and how loved they are. And it really warms my heart to see that they do have a new shiny butler that they treat just the same as the old one, and that is fantastic. 
So uh, wonderful all around. If he comes over here, we will try this on him just for fun. It is. Uh, it weighs a lot. Like this is. Uh, he's going to be a serious Mr. T with this thing on. You want to be Mr. T, buddy? I've still got his glasses and everything put away, too. I, I hope they're with his endowments, um, but otherwise I know they'll be in one of the places that I should put them. And then there is a little extender here in case this doesn't quite fit um, that I can use to make it just a little bit longer. So that's thoughtful, too. I think it might it fit as, uh, but, well, we'll see. We'll see when we see. For now, I wonder if it will fit around my wrist so I have it right here. I'm not going to try it. I'm actually, I'm just going to put it right in my lap. There we go. Hi, all of you are very interested. Did one of you want to try to wear it? No, you would hate that. You would hate everything about it, wouldn't you? DJ has started calling Jan Harry. And I don't know why Harry. I asked her, why are you calling him Harry? And she said, uh, it's just, he's just a Harry. So, so if you hear me calling him Harry, you will understand why. I mean, as much as I understand why, which is not entirely. <laughs> Uh, but what can you do? Okay. So uh, thank you so much for sending that. And just, oh man, I almost teared up just hearing from those those uh, those little kids. It's, uh, it's very special. They're very special kids still. They're all special kids though. All of these kids are. Okay. This is from Millet and Sydney. Speaking of special kids. And it is a lobster. Well, I can guess who this is for. I would guess this is a, re a replacement lobster for uh, Drizzle, wherever she is. She's all the way, is that her all the way back on the tree? No, that's Eddie. She's over there. But, oh, <laughs> Custard, I got to get the ceiling camera on in here because this is where everybody is and because Custard's laying on his back behind me and I think that's the only camera that will be able to see it. Uh, let's see here. If it's not already on. Oh, it is already on. Cool. All right, good. Well, you can see that. I'm assuming that this lobster from Millet and Sydney, like I said, is for drizzle. So I'm going to toss it to her. But uh, I'll tell you something that made me really happy about her. Because, you know, I, I took her to the vet. I thought she was feeling down. We never really found any reason for it. Um, but last night she brought me a spring to throw for her uh, to play fetch. She didn't bring it back to me, but she clearly brought it, put it right in my lap, and looked at me like, well, let's play. Hey, you just took this out of my lap. I was wondering how it was so jingly over there. Okay, so Drizzo. Now I lost sight of her. Oh, she's right here. No, this is, yes, this is her. Okay, Drizzo, you want this one? Do you want this? You want this lobster? Yeah, here, go get it. Okay, we'll see. Uh, thank you, Millet and Sydney. I'm assuming that's what that was sent for. And we'll see if she she's going to play with it right now. So that's a good sign, at least. Please open on Saturday 10 to 10, 2024, if possible. Okay, well, it is possible. I hope. It's always a question whether I can get anything open. Oh, this is interesting. This looks like cookies. Are they for me or for Teaspoon? The note, okay to read on stream, sorry for my handwriting and a little drawing of a cat. Wow, you guys really like the bling, huh? You know what's money when you see it. Okay, but you can't just steal that because that's not yours. That belongs to Teaspoon. <laughs> uh, too much fun. Okay, I'm going to put it right here again. This is adorable, a little uh, card that looks like, um, a, well, it's a white kitty sitting in like a field of leaves and it says, Dear Mr. A, Dr. DJ and esteemed KA faculty, students, and mom cats. Hi, okay. She does this with, uh, I haven't, I guess maybe we've seen her do it with a card once or twice, but she likes to like, she, do, she does it on the plants with the low branches. I'm pointing at one that's not here. And uh, she does it like on the flaps of cardboard boxes. She just likes to, hit it and, and watch it and it makes the sound and it's uh, it's just stimulating for her. She, it's, I don't know why little Sprout is that way, but she is so sweet and fun. Happy in due time holidays. The ornament is from the Northeastern uh, U.S.'s other K.A., which is King Arthur Baking. Aw, is this an ornament? Oh, it looks like it... It doesn't look like anything to me. I feel like... <laughs> I feel like I'm a robot in Westworld. What is this? Uh, it looked like a perfect ornament to commemorate the addition of a certain Q-tensil to the KA faculty. Since I didn't send it in time for Christmas, the Q-tensil's B-day seemed inappropriate in due time. 
The cookies, I thought those looked like cookies. My mouth has been watering since I opened this package. Oh, this is so cute. I see what you did. It is, uh, this is a medicine bottle that's just used to keep these things nice when you sent them. And it says right here, uh, a cutensil joins the faculty. Uh, this is written, so first off, hang on, let me show you if you can see. It is a set of cutensils, little tiny utensils. We have a whisk, a spatula, a strainer, a soup ladle, and a tiny little teaspoon. And then written on each of them, it says, K.A. Christmas 2023 from Lily Cat's mom and family. A cutensil joins the faculty best Christmas ever. That is just such a sweet way to commemorate it, and it's adorable. It's just adorable, these tiny little utensils. Uh, someone sent um, much larger but still toy utensils, too, when we had the utensils. I was supposed to use for a photo shoot, and I haven't done a real photo shoot in such a long time. We don't have to get into how guilty I feel, um, but I still have those. They're in my closet with all the photo stuff, um, so that's fun as well. But these are tiny and adorable and would make an excellent uh, Christmas tree uh, de decoration. So I don't, I don't know where to put them to make sure that they get there. Um, but uh, for now, I'm just going to set them over here to the side. Okay. All right. I feel like maybe I lost a ribbon off of them. Um, I'm going to put it in the medicine bottle here. I save a ton of medicine bottles too. I've got like a whole collection of little plastic bottles for things. They're very useful to put all kinds of stuff into. All right, so you also sent, oh my goodness, chocolate chocolate chip cookies with walnuts. That's I love nuts and cookies. Uh, that looks fantastic. I can't wait to uh, eat all of these. I'm going to try to eat, wait to eat all of them, but um, it's going to be difficult. Okay, maybe I'll just use the box here. There we go. And I'm even going to put your note with it so we don't lose that. Uh, thank you very, very much. Oh, I didn't, did I read? I didn't finish, did I? Chocolate chop. Okay. Are also known as poop cookies on the KA Discord food channel. Wow, my goodness. I just got distracted by all the good stuff. And of course, are to commemorate poop aversary. Oh, purrs and meows. Lily Cat's mom, Lily Cat's dad, twin A, twin B, Izzy, flat Izzy, and angel cat Lily. Oh, <laughs> very cute. Okay. You uh, drew a little picture of a kitty with a halo that's like shining. It's very cute. Hi, Harry. Look at you. I got hairy legs. Okay. Next up. Um, well, uh, pull to open. All right. You think this is going to work for us? What are you chewing on? I don't trust it. Oh, it looks like a teeny tiny piece of paper. Oh, it's a sticker even. Okay. Wow, oh, look at that. I, it took me two pulls, but it did seem to work. What is this folded up thing? Oh, and no, there's no note to go with it? Oh, did I cover up a name that I would recognize here at the return address? Probably not. Oh, it tore off anyway, so I don't know for sure. Well, I don't see a note there. Maybe there's one in whatever this folded bag. Oh, there is. There's one right there. Look at that with little drawings on it. That's cute. It's a drawing of the Kitten Academy logo, a fish, a chicken, and a bag of crunchy treats. What is this, though? What's going on here? Is this really fancy tissue for a really fancy tissue pet? That's what it looks like so far. Look how fancy. I don't know if you can tell. It's like got actual gold, uh, like shiny gold in it. It's beautiful. It looks like a, like a planet, like an exotic planet. And then the rest of that's all cyan, very beautiful, like um, seafoam green, a little cyan blue, and a cerulean, I'm going to say. Is that the word I'm looking for? We're going to pretend like it is. To the entire KA family. <clears throat> I cannot believe it's been almost an entire year since Nibbles... Had five of the cutest kittens to ever kitten, but all kittens fit into this group. Ramekin, Goblet, uh, Goblet, Boo, and Spork all look so happy and loved with their adooters. Happy birthday, kids! 
But there's another cute tinsel who also deserves to be recognized, our favorite little orange uggo, the nutritional and veterinary encounters lecturer, Teaspoon. From his little nursing dance to his wet food bulldozing all the way up to his chimkin closet meows, from little alien to distinguished gentleman, from small to uh, still small, but not as small, he's grown so much. Uh, for Teaspoon's birthday, I have sent some really nice tissue paper for a future tissue pit. Selected for oranges specifically, the blues should make for great screenshots or photos. Hopefully, Teaspoon, the Timey Wimeys, or another Oops All Oranges class can enjoy it. And any older, uh, any other kittens, we love all tissue pit fun. Again, happy birthday, Cutensils, and happy birthday, Teaspoon who's definitely um, not even paying attention anymore. He's long left his own. That's okay. You can't expect a kid to pay attention to his first birthday, can you? Uh, very sweet, though. This is beautiful. You describe them as uh, blue, which I think is, you know, that's fine, too. There's a lot of confusion for me, I think, uh, what's blue and what's green, and I'm not, I've never been tested as colorblind. I think I'm just uh, typically male in that sense. Uh, not to be, you know, like all, uh, well, guys are like this, but uh, I do, I thought I read somewhere that um, something about guys have uh, a little more trouble distinguishing that particular color spectrum. I don't know if I read that or not. I know for me it's true, so whatever. I think it's beautiful nonetheless. I love these colors, um, and I do see how they range from like a seafoam green to uh, what I would consider like a green blue or a blue green color. Those were always my favorite, even as a kid, in the box of Crayolas, I think. Um, my favorite actual colors. So, oh, there's Teaspoon. Hey, buddy. That, it's a beautiful choice. I think it will look fantastic for him. I should get out a tissue pit again soon. These guys have been exposed to it at least once, and they all took to it like a fish to water. Some classes really don't, but these guys were right into it. Uh, so, fantastic that way. I'm sure they will love all of this. Uh, okay. Let's move some stuff around. Okay, this says box one of two, and we've got box two of two. It looks like it's another one from Ruth and Bob. Let's push that out of the way just a little so I can set this right here. Uh, there we go. Let's just keep going with what was closest to me so I don't have to disturb little Harry here. Okay. Ah, and there's a duh note. Okay, let's see here. Speaking of uh, Ruth and Ruth and Bob, oh man, puberty's hitting me hard. Uh, you sent those uh, la lemon lavender cookies that I love, and uh, I, I love them. <laughs> they are all gone, long gone, but they were fantastic. It says, you're perfect, and it's got a cute little kitty smiling, wearing a bell with little hearts around. Very Valentine's Day. Oh, and it's a pop-up card that has two smiling little kitties. There we go. We'll put those right there. Maggie was just here, and then I thought she went, like, up a tree. Oh, she's laying behind me. Okay. Hello, Mr. A and Dr. DJ. Uh, the card... The card says it all. Perfect. I see. Happy Valentine's Day. Um, the kittens are growing so fast. Here are a few things for their endowments and a few things for K.A. Thank you for all the care and love the kittens receive. Love, Bob and Ruth. Well, thank you guys for all the care and love uh, I and the kittens receive. So, in this house, cat hair is a condiment. <laughs> it's so true. I see, uh, every time I see like on TV, like on a reality show or something, someone who's so offended that there's a hair in their food, like I can understand a human hair in your food maybe, I, I get it, I'm not saying that they're wrong to be so offended by it, but I'm like, this is not a problem for me, <laughs> it wouldn't even, wouldn't even slow me down, I probably wouldn't even notice, I'd be like, ah, oh, it's just like food at home, uh, so, <laughs> all right. Welcome to the catio, the perfect place to be. Look at that. It's a little yard flag that would be very nice to put next to or in or on their little uh, cat run back there. And it is the perfect place to be. 
This says Timey Wimey Kitten, uh, and it is a, uh, a nut-shaped pod. Uh, it's, I guess it's not nut-shaped. It's really, oh, it's got three sides, too, so it's more of a pyramid-shaped pod when you open it up. Um, I, I just think of it as the nut shape because uh, we've got the, the one that we used to use that was like an acorn for real. So it's almost the same size. So Timey Wimey Kittens. <clears throat> this is a door-hanging toy, very popular toy, that is a a door a bull toy, rattle and catnip cat toy, all right? And it says, for Callie, oh, she will love that. Uh, there's some sort of a little knit toy in here as well. This is, oh, this is a waterproof furniture cover. I'm assuming waterproof. It's very big, too. It would cover, I think, the entire bed. Um, this is very pretty. It's, it's got a really nice rainbow print on it with little uh, paw prints on it as well. So I love it. I'm just, I'm trying to find something that confirms that it's waterproof, uh, which I don't see, but I'm sure it would be. It, it really looks like um, some of the ones that we've received in the past that are super useful. Oh, it does. See, I see it says on the back, top thumbs, 100% water dog paw printed gray. So it's either made 100% of water or it is 100% waterproof. Uh, that would be my guess. Um, you never know until you open it. Thank you so much. I'm not going to open it yet, uh, but that is fantastic. As waterproof blankets are getting so much use around here, um, that's great. This is not waterproof. It's very, very soft, textured fleece blanket for little tiny babies. Okay. What are you checking out in there, Drizzo? You're making it very hard for me to get the next layer of this box. Hang on. Sit right here for one second. Okay. It's nice to see Drizzo all participating and excited. This just says K.A. Mutts and Mittens, and it's a beautiful, it's like a blue plush um, pad. It's not even just a blanket. It's so thick, it's not, it, you couldn't call it any kind of a blanket. It's a, it's a pad. And it looks, uh, on this side, it's got Sherpa, which is, kittens always love to knead on this material. And uh, I'm sure this is going to be a bed that they all love to sit on. We have an awful lot of blues and, and sort of lavenders in that room. It might even go in the space room. But I'm going to set it back here while we're doing the rest of Mailbag just to see if anybody wants to get on it and need that side. I feel like Drizzo's already looking for it for that reason. Is she going to start kneading or just going to sit? She's just going to sit. Okay, well, don't pee on it. Teaspoon's checking it out too. How fun. Uh, thank you. You also sent a whole other box, and it's the next one here on the pile, so we're just going to keep rolling. Oh. Maybe. Oh, look at that. You sent a whole set of nut houses. I, I'm just going to call them that, even though, you know, it's not exactly the same. This one's more of a salmon color, though. It says Timey Wimey Kitten. And then another salmon and uh, another white and another white. And I'm assuming they're all labeled the same. Timey Wimey. Yes, Timey Wimey. Perfect. Well, that's so sweet of you to send a little uh, pod for each of them. All cats love pods. I'm going to stack those up there for one second, and then we'll put them back in the box after we've figured out what else is in here, because we're not done yet. There's also a furry mice attempting duo. Oh, goodness. Well, they do look pretty tempting. And in fact, I see this looks like something that the Drizzo would like both of these, probably. Look at that little tail on there. It doesn't say it's for anybody in particular, so... Drizzo, do you want to try it out and write meow? Look at that. Look at that pretty purple mouse. There you go. I think she would like this one too, but I'm not going to distract her by giving her two at the same time. Oh, no, she just left it. Maybe she's just not in the mood right now. Drizzo. Drizzo, look. Watch this. Watch. Here we go. Ready? Oh, well, she got the wrong toy, but she was excited. And then it looks like we have uh, little magnets that have this really cute uh, black kitty on them. That's adorable, and the, all three of them have it, but with different backgrounds, and the, the shape of it makes that background uh, sort of take on some fun shade when, when you look at it from an angle. So I like those a lot, and I will stick them to our mailbag box. I'll put them on the side. There we go, all three of them. Perfect. Fantastic. Bob and Ruth, thank you so much. I really can't say enough 
how much I appreciate all that you've done for us from uh, the adoption of port and uh, right on through to taking care of every kitten since then. Uh, it's fantastic. Oh, we got some springs and balls here too that also look very fun. Okay, I want to leave the waterproof blanket out. The rest of it I think I can try to pack in here for now. That all needs to go downstairs anyway. There we go. Perfect. All right, let's put our box right over here. And then we can slide all this back out of the way for the moment. And I think the next thing I can reach is this box that all of you will recognize as being from the B&B sisters. There we go. Oh, wow, a Game Boy, just like the one I had in high school. Well, except a little more purple. That's a really cute cat toy, a little purple Game Boy, uh, like the original. And then we've got a note with it that's got, oh, it's a really beautiful oil painting of kittens playing on a desk with a globe. And two of the kittens are actually up on the globe climbing it, and the other ones are playing on the desk with a set of pens. Uh, and mom is sitting there watching them all. And the mom is a little calico, and there's a calico kitten and an orange and white kitten and a black and white kitten uh, and a tabby kitten with white just like this one. Wow, it's almost a perfect match for this crew. Um, but there are two calico kittens on the uh, on the globe. But wow, what a what a good fit that is. Um, let me see if I can show you guys up close. I don't know if I can or not. I, I have no idea if that's coming through. It's very cool though. How much it looks like them. Hello, Kitten Academy B and B sisters here. Although we're sure everyone watches, <laughs> recognizes our box of goodies. Indeed. It's been very busy and hectic for us so far this year with work and at home lately, so it's a great stress reliever to look up from time to time and get some kitten stress relief therapy. Enclosed are the usual to be used as you see fit. We have a feeling you might want to keep one or two of the cat toys at KA and deploy. Yes, one for sure. B&B Sisters, P.S. We thought the cat and kittens on the front of this card kind of look like the current class of little cuties. Yes, it's a really good match. The mom is a lot chunkier than our slender uh, mom, though, and has much more tail. Uh, but that is that's a very recognizably this class. So here we go. Uh, some of the usual things, as you say. Oh, wow. Look at that blue. Uh, or is it green? Who knows? That's really cool. Uh, that's beautiful. That would go really well in our galaxy room over there. And they do need to have their blanket that's on top of the waterproof blanket, on top of the beanbag washed. I know it's got a little bit of a mess on it, so I'm just going to set this aside right now to put right on there. We usually wash the blankets first, but this is this is nice. I'm gonna, there we go. That'll get over there when we're done. It's beautiful. This has some of the same sort of tones in it, uh, a little more on the green side here. Oh, also lovely. I don't know how well you guys can see that from that camera, but it is beautiful logo. Some very haunting eyes and that sort of uh, teal sea foam greenish color that Maggie's sitting all over. Maggie, you can't just sit there. I need to take this and fold it back up. <laughs> okay. Maggie is surprisingly such a lap cat. Uh, I know that she, you know we've got pictures of her and stuff being in our laps uh, from the moment that we first adopted her, but. Uh, she's never been like the biggest lap cat until recently. She just wants affection so much more often than she used to, and it's very sweet. This says, sometimes it takes all day. <laughs> uh, this cat looks so funny. Uh, sometimes it takes all day to get nothing done. Wow, that's like my motto. Uh, that is beautiful, little grumpy kitten. Uh, that's fantastic. I love everything about it. The cat is so cute, and the sometimes it takes all day to get nothing done has been, uh, sometimes it takes all week. Um, I've certainly had it, well, that's not true, because I did get almost all the networking, I, I got all the networking stuff that I wanted to get done, done. Um, now I want to get it more done, so 
these things are never quite finished the way you would expect. But I am thrilled to finally have our network kind of segmented and all this stuff is moving faster, faster and better than ever. And uh, I know you guys might not notice the benefit to it, but you do already have a benefit from it, which is right now um, we've doubled our internet connection, literally doubled it by buying two internet connections from uh, the same <coughs> ISP, which is something I've asked to do for years. They always told me I couldn't do. And uh, one day, a month or so, a couple, a couple few months ago, um, I was going to cancel our business <coughs> internet and just get consumer internet because it's so much cheaper and the business wasn't providing us any benefit. And the lady that I reached on the phone that does retention, you know, where they try to convince you not to cancel your account, um, told me I could have both. And I said, well, I can't believe you sold me on keeping this account, but uh, so we will. And so we did, and one of the things I did this week was get them both hooked up at the same time, and that has let us increase the bit rate of this very stream to a level that is actually what 4K video is supposed to be for the very first time. Um, and uh, so we have. So I don't know if you've noticed anything looking a little bit sharper, but in theory, it should be, especially when things are moving fast, a little bit better. Um, you know, it's still a, it's still an internet stream. Things are still going to be pixelated sometimes, and we still get packet loss. And I'm, I'm not entirely sure that what they told me is possible is possible. Uh, it might happen that the packet loss is because we're doing this, and it might happen that I have to call them out at tech support, and the tech support guy is eventually going to tell me, <clears throat> you can't do that. It's never going to work. But... Most of the time, since I, I got it started that way uh, a day or two ago, it has been working fine. So I'm very happy about it right now. Uh, so that, that's, that's wonderful. It's, it's been a real struggle to get a, an internet connection that can actually do the stream the way that we would like to here. Or, uh, oh man, wishing that uh, someday we could actually do uh, you know, multiple streams or other things with it that are even more fun. Um, fingers crossed. So this is... Adorable. I love everything about this. This is really a basket of blankets that are probably not going to go for endowments, uh, any of them. This is so cute. I couldn't, the well, except maybe for Till, because it would look great in her room, and she's going to have to take a blanket with her, and she can have anything she wants. She is so sweet. Um, so it's, it's so cute, though. I'm not doing a terrible job of trying to fold this, but I really don't want to disturb Harry, so I don't want to really start shaking it out and trying to get it all even. You're disturbed enough, aren't you, little buddy? Yes, you are. So cute. Okay. Uh, the rest of this looks like toys. Very fun toys. So we have a cat's pillow. It says crazy, and there's a, um, I, I don't know. It just looks like a pillow that looks like a cat. Uh, I don't think I need to undo it, but it's it's a cat kicker, all right? This one is a very stripy fish. That's cute. He's got an eye uh, on both sides, little button eyes. There's, oh, that's classic. That's just so adorable, little button eyes. Uh, we've got a whale that is made of plastic bottles. All right, just like the whales in the ocean are full of plastic bottles. Oh, I made myself sad. Um... Here's a, a cowboy boot with bells on it, and it's it's in a whole bag of catnip, and it's very cute. Look at that. Like a classic style cowboy uh, uh, boot with that toe that curls all the way up. I like it. Very old west. We have a flat skunk. Wow, it is a flat skunk. It just says forest animal, but I think we all recognize that. A little flat skunk toy. He's very cute. We have a multi-pet contains catnip, cat play. Uh, looks like almost like a Christmas cracker uh, kind of a style there. A chocolate, a bag of... Oh, no, it's not a bag. It is a chocolate bar that has been unwrapped, and there's also a mouse in there with it. He's probably been eating the chocolate. Uh, so that's another cat kicker. It's a chocolate bar. Oh, the a lion that I just love, this uh, this set with this uh, just beautiful little lion in it, and a fish, and a ball. This i got to show you this lion, though. Isn't he pretty? Oh, he's got a tail on him. I don't think the ones that we've had before have the tail on it. But this, oh, hi, Maggie. Oh, you like that, huh? Okay. 
Well, I know if I give it to you, you're going to be done playing with it in two seconds. But it's so cute. Wow, these are nice beads on here too. They're, they're not just little wooden, they're wooden beads, but they're also like have wood burning or paint on them. So they each have very intricate patterns. Hmm. That's, that's just such a cute little lion and every, okay, okay, you can have it. You can have the lion. There you go. You, you want to take the fish too? Here, let's just put all this out here. Okay, I'll just, whoop, that'll work. Okay, next up, food stimulation, uh, food simulation catnip toys. Food simulation catnip toys. Uh, oh, it says, happy every day, Monday banana, Tuesday bread, Wednesday ice cream cone, Thursday hot pepper, Friday carrot, Saturday corn, Sunday shrimp. Hey, I don't know why. I guess it's just the way of saying there's seven food toys in here. And in fact, that is exactly what I see. Uh, hot pepper, uh, carrot. Here's a memory test for you. Which day was which? Uh, banana. I fail, by the way. I'm not even going to try. This is, this is all on you. Uh, and look at that shrimp. That's a very real. These are all the, that sort of printing where it looks super real. Okay, Maggie, don't bite kittens. Here, take your lion. It's over there now. There you go. Okay. Uh, an ear of corn, and of course the ice cream cone is at the bottom here. Those are super cute. All right, seven food toys. Oh, are you taking the bread? Maybe that was what Maggie was after. Maggie, do you want some bread? She's paying attention to the. There's a bird squeaking out on the patio. I can hear it. It's got teaspoons' attention. It's got Eddie's attention, and it's got Maggie's attention from all the way over here. She's gone back to the lion, though. Okay. All right, that's a cute set. Oh, this is super cute. It is a sandwich coming out of a lunch bag, and the sandwich has a little face on it, and it's got a tether that holds it to the lunch bag. So it's a, it's one of those, you hide the sandwich in the lunch bag, and then the cat can have fun trying to get it out. But it's a PB&J, you can clearly see, uh, with the crust cut off, apparently. And it is so cute. Oh my goodness, so cute. Uh, it says lunch on the bag, too. <laughs> That's a fun one. Oh my goodness. We have, uh, this is an interesting idea for a cat toy. We have a denim cat toy because they all like sitting on the denim. It is Henry Noodle brand and it's got a button and it's got a couple little pieces of yarn to keep it interesting and very soft denim and supposedly I would guess catnip in there. Oh yeah. That's a cool toy. And of course, another bag of peanut W's and W's, which cracks me up every time without fail. W's and W's. Uh, fantastic. All right, I'm going to uh, set that right here in the pile for now. This is a potato chips classic. With uh, It does. In fact, it looks just like a bag of Lay's or something. And this one also has a mouse in it, so that must be the thing. Clearly matches the chocolate bar. We have chips and chocolate here. We have a bag of fuzzy mice, the classic fuzzy rattle mice. A 100% catnip filled devil. Oh, he's so cute. It's a little red uh, devil that even has a string and then a little devil tail on the end of the string. Here, I had to take the sticker off of its face and it's got little tufted, tufted devil ears. Oh my goodness. That is so cute. Look at that little tail with the little barb on the end and the uh, the tufted ears and the the. Uh, it's such a cute little uh, little devil kitty. Oh, little devil is actually what it's called. Okay, how about that from Pet Links? That's so cute. I really like it. Uh, we've got a flamingo with little uh, string legs. There we go. A pineapple and a coconut. Uh, the pineapple's wearing sunglasses and the coconut has uh, a straw in his head. <laughs> it's very uh, like shades of cuphead there. Uh, anthropomorph anthropomorphic drinking glass coconut. Easy for me to say. This is the cutest little fuzzy bunny. Oh, the fuzz on him is so adorable. He's got little tiny leather ears that, no, I guess not leather, pleather ears that stick up. And it has uh, an electronic squeaker in it too. I'm not going to activate. And a little tiny, a little tiny fuzzy white tail. Oh, it kind of reminds me of Harry. 
Maybe that's why she called him Harry, because he's like a hare. Oh, I, yeah, maybe I'll suggest that to her. You know, it could be subconscious. Maybe she doesn't even know. He's so cute as a little squeaker toy, as a little electronic squeaker toy. That is adorable. I want to play with it. Here we have some Orange Crush. Uh, or, uh, you know, I've been watching uh, one of the reality shows that we love to watch is uh, Below Decks. And it's, you know, they're uh, a yacht. It's a show about yachts. Um, and so they're people from all around the world. And apparently, um, I, is, it the, is Orange Crush and Orange Squash the same thing? Because I feel like it is the same thing, and that's a real weird way to localize it to the states. Because around here, it's orange. Of course, we have Fanta, too. Um, we do have Fanta. It's, it's rare. It's not a popular item here, but neither is Orange Crush. I don't think I've even seen one in forever. Uh, that's neither here nor there. That was always my favorite when I was a kid, the orange soda, by the way. I just, that's what I would get. I would order at McDonald's. Does McDonald's still have an orange soda on the, on the regular? Hmm. All right, uh, there we go. We got little Charlie balls. We have a oh, it's a uh, well, it's a it's got to be an old-fashioned cell phone, although it really looks like a remote control. Um, but it's, it must be an old-fashioned cell phone because it says "What's your number?" on the screen, and it's got like a little Wi-Fi signal. Oh, and an antenna on the top. Okay, yeah, that's a cell phone. There we go. All right, what's your number? And finally, we have a turtle, uh, also made from plastic bottles, on a stick, uh, on a string. It's a string toy turtle, which is very cute. And I guess for the slow movers that want to play with one of these uh, string toys. And at the bottom, we have a tray of Nulo. There we go. Uh, Nulo, just right there. That's perfect. What we still feed everybody. Drizzle's completely taken over that bed back there. How sweet. These, I'm going to, oh man, I really want to see these deployed. And if I don't keep this one aside, it won't get deployed before, um, it won't get deployed before Till uh, goes home, I hope. I mean, I'm saying that as though she's adopted and she's not yet. She needs to be. But uh, when I when I put all this stuff in the basement to be sorted later, it usually doesn't get sorted until adoptions happen. So I'm assuming she's going to be our next adoption. I'm hoping she's going to be our next adoption. She's, I just, I keep saying she's so sweet. I've been trying to get it to, to something we can see a little more often on the, the close-ups. Cause we've got a show, don't tell, you know. Um, but she is the sweetest thing. Even DJ is just enamored with her. Um, and I know uh, somebody is going to love having her around. Uh, whoop, there we go. Uh, you guys previously, I think it was the B&B sisters that sent the uh, Xbox controller that's so nicely embroidered. This might even be from the same set. And uh, the couple of classic Nintendo uh, NES consoles, the uh, Famicom um, uh, console uh, controllers that are uh, in the bedroom. And I see them all the time. And every time they make me smile. I don't, it's just silly, but uh, I love them. And I love this one too. So uh, that's really cute. Hmm. Wow, that is a very professional label for an Etsy seller. It is a, it's like a real label on this that says black vivacious paws dot Etsy dot com. Uh, handmade in Michigan, USA of domestic and imported materials. What a professional presentation for an Etsy seller. Uh, really cool though. Okay, I'm going to leave this one out too. There we go. Put that right there, as you suspected. Good job, Maggie. Look at that. Finally doing what I said you do for people to see instead of just making a liar out of me all the time. So cute. You guys getting worn out a little bit, huh? A little fry? Buddy, you got a goober, and I really want it, but I know if I take it, you're going to jump up all offended and run away. So I guess you can just keep it for now. Okay, uh, well, we've got some more to do. How are we for time, I wonder? I still wonder, because my watch is not telling me. Well, it is just about time. And these are some very hand-packaged things that look like they could take a while. But, on the other, other hand, I don't want anybody who's tuned in today to see whatever they sent for Teaspoon have to wait for tomorrow unexpectedly when maybe they weren't even planning on it. So, I guess... Oh, excuse me. We'll keep rolling. Uh, I'll try not to make it a lightning round. We'll try to take our time, as we have done. 
although I am going to try to speed it up a little bit. Okay, let's see. This is flat. Uh, I think I've adequately described it. Oh, and I think this was from, actually, I don't, I feel like this was from Alto Clarinet Lady, but I've covered it all up, so I'm not sure now. The note! Ooh, right there. Hello, Kitten Academy. I remember that Serenity had a sign with her name on it, so I have made a sign for Till. Oh, well, that might be the thing. Just the thing we were missing. Uh, I'm also sending some magnets of nibbles. Sending love to all the cats, kittens, and humans of the Academy. Emily in Montreal, who is, yes, alto clarinet lady. Well, thank you so much. Oh, look at that. Oh, hey. Custard. 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 Oh, man, I don't want to disturb these kids. Do you think I can throw a toy at him? Oh, he's going to walk away. Good. You rethink that. You can go back to your room if you're going to be beating up the old man, Eddie. Okay. So, uh, oh, look at that. That's a great sign for Till. That can be perfect. We'll put it in her room right away. Hi, are you helping? What are you doing? What are you going for here? I love these colors, too. That'll look really good in her room. And you've made the, the letters sort of three-dimensional. Very pretty. And then, as you say, we have uh, some very cute fridge magnets uh, with little uh, nibbles on it there. There we go. Those can go on the box. Uh, kind of running out of room. Oh, we've got a whole other side. There we go. Those are big. Wow. All right. Some of these will get moved to the fridge. We can just rotate them in and out, I'm sure. This has got to go somewhere where it won't get damaged, but it will get to the room. Okay, I'm going to tuck it right in here with this other stuff that I'm going to uh, have to deal with specially. These kittens are, three of them are sleeping right here where you can't see them at all, I'm sure, uh, right next to my headphones. And they're beautifully lit. Oh. I have to just take a photo, because if I stream it, it will end our recording. Oh, there we go. Custer decided to play with a real toy. Well, I don't think a photo can do the scene justice, but that's all right. So cute. Custer's playing with a kicker. That's, that's a good redirection of that... Uh, energy that he's got. <laughs> we'll call it energy. Take a chance to check in here. There we go. Good. Okay. I think everything's still going fine. At least I don't see any complaints immediately. So we'll keep rolling. This can go right in here. All right, this has got to be some kind of a tunnel. It's just addressed to Kitten Academy. Let's see. Oh, Teaspoon's playing with that purple mouse with the tail that I just left out for Drizzle. That's great. Oh, he likes that. Oh, and now he's moved on. He's going to go start something with Custard, maybe? Oh, uh, part two of two. Okay. Well, it's only one thing in here. I guess we'll find part one in due time. Part two of two, enjoy gift. Mr. A, consult Teaspoon what he would like in his tracks. All ball track cat toy makers should send to Kitten Academy for a Teaspoon seal of approval. Cat Tunnel is for K.A. Lots of purrs and happy meows from Breezy Melody One. Thank you so much. This looks like a really nice tunnel, too. It's got a, like a blue pattern on it, and a, I see there's a red ball on the one side. That will be fantastic. Uh, eventually, I'm going to want to put this giant uh, mesh tunnel away that they've been playing with. So this might make a good replacement for that. I'm going to tuck it right in here for now. Uh, breezy Melody One, thank you. And I, I would guess the box that I didn't quite move all the way over here. Oh, maybe this is part one of two. This says Kitten Academy Teaspoon Jansen, so I guess it's a different order. So maybe not. But at least we know who it's for, and there is a note. And the note says, Teaspoo, we wanted to wish you a wonderful first birthday. You've grown into a handsome lad. Please enjoy this gift and feel free to share your birthday toys with others. Or don't. Wink, wink. From Love, Joe, and Halfers. All right. Uh, this is a birthday party set. How appropriate. I'm going to take this up to the bedroom for him. 
Uh, and that way, DJ can also appreciate the fact that it is his birthday. She's sleeping right now, having just gotten off the night shift. But she does not have to go to work tonight, and that's always fun. We'll get to stay up. I will end up be staying up late again tonight to hang out with her and probably watch more Below Deck. Um, that's just become our... This is such an easy thing to put on when she's on night shift and we can't really pay attention to anything or she can't not, you know, properly because her sleep schedule's so far off. Uh, so here we have a birthday crown toy. There we go. I know you're not the birthday boy, but you're what we've got here. We've got a little tiny fish, a happy birthday balloon that's embroidered, uh, another birthday hat. There we go. This is the one for the, the person who's not the birthday boy. If he doesn't wake up for this, I have to get my phone and take a little picture. It's hard to get that balance on there. Oh. Well, maybe you can wear it. You know what? It's just it's not going to balance at all. The bottom's too round. Here, let's see if I can adjust the floof. Okay, itchy nose. Oh, I can smell the catnip in this. Birthday theme catnip, it says. Oh, fair enough. Boy, you can just, everything. They make everything in cat toys now, don't they? Oh, well, it may not be his birthday, but he's here for it. Okay, and then we also have a present and a birthday cake, which also, they need to floof up a little bit. I think they've been compressed in the shipping, but that's a cute little birthday cake with one candle on it. And look at this, a nice wrapped present with a bow. That's a very cute set of things. Um, and we've got a plastic bag right there I'm going to use to put it into, so this can just go back here. Uh, that's just adorable. Oh, we've got another plastic bag right here. I guess I could use either one. Let me get my camera ready so that I can put this on here and maybe get a picture. It's going to look like it's uh, this guy's birthday fry, but it's not. Oh no, and it's zoomed in. Stop, no camera, why? Okay. Yeah, now we got it. Oh no, birthday over. One more try. Yeah, you're ready to party for your buddy. Here, hold this balloon. Don't let it fly away. That's too silly. That's too silly. All right. Well, you can wear that hat or not. Okay, and we'll take the crown for teaspoon. Too bad he's not here. I would bother him a lot. I'm going to put them all in the Ziploc baggie and bring them all up to DJ in the bedroom for him to have his little birthday party. There we go. Thank you, Joe and Halfers. That is very cute. Uh, maybe I should share those photos. I'm sure you guys probably got some of your own. Yeah, it looks like some of those came out. It almost looks more like a wizard hat, but that's all right. All right. What is this? Kitten Academy teaspoon. All right, teaspoon. It's definitely your day. Oh, so cute. It, it's got this cute little wrapped package that has a, it's actually got like a, uh, oh, Paw Patrol. Uh -huh. How do I recognize that? I've never seen Paw Patrol, but I know what it is somehow. All right. Uh, very cute on there. And it says teaspoon, and it's got uh, birthday balloons and a heart, and it's got a little kitty coming out of a, a birthday package there. So cute. Teaspoon can't open his presents, so I'm going to have to do it for him. That's my excuse. Oh, hey, this card looks familiar. You are wonderful, wonderful, and you are Loved a wonderful happy birthday and congrats on your new faculty position. I would make you a cake if I could, but I got you this gift instead, love, Megalina. Oh, Megalina, you did not need to do that. All right, let's see. This is very cute. A 
Ooh, there must be something tiny. Aww. Well, this is cute. It's a birthday cupcake that has the number one on it for little one first birthday teaspoon. And it's got sprinkles, and it's adorable. Look at that. So cute. He is going to love this. I don't want to put, just put it in with the other toys because it's a completely different set, but it, it really goes along with that theme of little birthday toys for them, doesn't it? Thank you so much, Megalina. That's cute. DJ's going to just love it. I mean, Teaspoon is going to just love it. Uh, he, he would love it no matter what it looked like, but uh, we get extra enjoyment out of it that way, don't we? Okay. Where is that boy? I think last time I saw him, he was over there looking at birds, but he's gone somewhere else. All right. Okay, a few more boxes to go through here. Let's keep it rolling. This one has got so much decoration on it. We have like a, this looks like a, a well, to me, it looks like a flan, flan uh, holding a fork and wearing a cape. Uh, but we've also got a Hello Kitties, a uh, little bunny in a tea cup holding a, um, uh, some kind of a uh, cupcake. There we go. Easy for me to say. Wow. Somebody wanted to make sure this was here today, so I'm glad that I'm opening it because uh, they definitely made an effort. And it says it's for teaspoon. Wow, if I can get it open. Let's try here. All right. It's very taped up, too. Oh, my goodness. There we go. That's some serious tape. Okay, to read and open before the big day, Teaspoon Jansen, this is also so cute. We got Noah's Ark wrapping paper here, and it's adorable with little cute animals on it. Um, and we've got Hello Kitty on the front hugging a little teddy bear. And again, it says, okay, to read and open before the big day, Teaspoon Jansen. All right, well, there we go. Happy birthday, Teaspoon. There's another giant package in here with the same wrapping paper that we will get to. The same little lop on here uh, with a, a jar of candy this time. Really like sweets. I always like lop-eared bunnies. Uh, we had one when I was a kid. And uh, you just don't see them too often, do you? All right. Uh, here's a cat looking suspiciously over a tin of sardines. And someone with very tidy handwriting says... Dear Teaspoon, happy first birthday. Here's to many more. I got you a little gift to celebrate. It's not a ball track, but I'm sure you will find a way to incorporate it into your lessons with the tinies. Congratulations on your new job. If anyone can handle all these new responsibilities along with your PhD studies, it's you. By the way, I got you a cap and gown for the future graduation. Hope it fits. You're very loved by so many. Keep on teaspooning. Hugs and kisses. At Fern Fan on Discord. That's so cute. P.S. Uh, thank you to your parents, Mr. A and Dr. DJ, for all they do, not just with you, but with all your siblings, nieces, and nephews. Truly wonderful people. Uh, may you be as happy as the first cat who figures out how to work a can opener. Cheers. Happy birthday, Teaspoon. And uh, PPS to Mr. A and Dr. DJ, thank you for adopting Little T. It was the best gift of 2023 to know he, we will be able to see him grow up into a tablespoon. Sorry, the joke never gets old, LOL. Sorry for my bad handwriting. Oh, you have some of the nicest handwriting we've ever seen. Um, so, uh, Fern Fan, thank you very much. And uh, uh, what was I about to say? Tablespoon. Yes, I've been calling him quarter cup. I think that's that's funny. Tablespoon's also good. Uh, yeah. All right. Happy birthday to everybody, by the way. Every single time that we call the vet, uh, the, the one that, that his cardiologist is at, because they are also uh, like a full vet, uh, and I think an emergency vet, actually, at that particular location. Uh, every single time, whoever it is that answers the phone has to say, oh, that is the cutest name for a kitten. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's a great name, Teaspoon is. Okay, so here is the promised cap and gown. Wow, he's going to have to grow into this one a little bit. 
Uh, although if the gown fits, we do have little caps that were sent like in our very first year that I still have. Oh yeah, I think this is going to be a good fit. Look at that. That's so cute. So there's his little gown. And here's his giant mortar board. Uh, there we go. Oh, it's a two-parter. That's cute. Okay, there we go like that with Velcro. Uh, well, that might actually fit. I didn't expect this bottom part to be quite so tall, uh, but that does decrease the radius a bit. You, know, you want to try it on? Model it for us real quick. He's like, no, I do not. All right, okay. Well, that's cute. Um, we will definitely find a way to... Uh, DJ's going to really appreciate that, too. So cute. But then whatever you sent must be uh, what is in this box. It's a perfect fit in here, too. So, oh, there we go. Got to perfectly unfit it. Wow, it's heavy. A little heavier than I expected. And... DJ's not here, so I don't have to try to open this as respectfully as possible. Oh, I see lizards. And cats. All right, okay. Happy cats, happy family, it says. Miggy Paws. I recognize that brand as being one of the electronic balls that we have. Uh, but this looks much too large to be an electronic ball. Let's see here. So it's a little heavy for its size, just like Teaspoon is. Very dense kitty. Oh, wow, it turns into a paw. I'm glad I opened it, the box carefully because it turns into a paw palace. The box apparently has little fold-up things to turn into a cute uh, cardboard box. And this, oh, this looks like a fancy sort of puzzle box, like the, the grass one that's upstairs that is a hit with everybody. We've got to start doing this sort of thing more often. And the coolest thing, I think, looking at this, the thing that immediately strikes me, is that the bottom of it is just very slightly curved, like those BattleBot arenas. And putting one of those little hex bugs or the UFO in here would be perfect. It would just, it would keep going. You could put two of them in there and they would bump up against each other all the time. But there is a power button on it. What does that do? Huh, and a charger. I can't even tell what this toy does. It has to do something though, doesn't it? Hmm, do you think it's got any charge? Well, it doesn't do anything when I flip the switch. To, oh, but it does do something when I turn the light on. It's got little lights for at night. But there's also just a plane on. Oh, what is that? Did something in there just move? Oh, something in there moves. Okay, let's take a look at the instructions. I'm going to need instructions for this one. Paw Palace. Yes. Open the packaging. Okay, it shows me how to fold the box. Charge it up. We got that. It's got a thing that sticks up. Switch to the sun position. Switch to, Okay, three positions. Sun position. The LED will turn on. The motor will randomly rotate. During this time, the LED light will gradually brighten and dim. Work for five minutes and stop. To work, again, trigger the sensor. To Okay, so it's got a sensor that tells when the cats are nearby. So it can go. That must be what this is right here on this corner. Good, we got that. The on position, the LED light will not turn on. The motor will randomly with five minutes and then we're... Okay, so the on, that's interesting. Sun makes it work with the LEDs and on makes it work without the LEDs. That's it. That's the only difference. Um, very cool. Oh, oh, I think I get it. Okay, I think I understand what is going to happen here. I think... That, that it's sloped down towards this end, and that little part that spins uh, has something in it that will knock these balls around so that they don't just sit in there. They get actually moved by the toy. That's why it's sloped, and that's how it's going to... Oh, this is so clever. Let's try it out real quick just to see. Hang on. It's also got this... Uh, there we go. This palm tree. Wow, it's a palm tree, but it's got, they put silver vine nuggets on the top of it, so this thing's going to get chewed up in like five seconds. But that goes right here in the corner. 
Uh, very cute. Okay, let's see if I'm right about that. It comes with four balls. So we're going to put two in. Yeah, so that is the, that's the, the low corner. And if I turn it on, there you go. That's exactly it. So it's got a little motor in the corner that taps the balls and gets their interest. And boy, does that work. Oh, this is a great toy. And it's not loud either. The motor doesn't make any noise. So it's perfect to put like in the bedroom, in his zone. Oh, that's going to be so fun. Okay, let's not ruin it. Let's save it for uh, some time with teaspoon maybe. That is fantastic. I really like this a lot. Miggy Paw's Paw Palace. I think that Teaspoon is also really going to like this a lot. I do think that they, they could have made a better choice with this part that stands up, uh, but uh, or at least you know made it easy, um, like something that's uh, more common for a replacement. But that's all right. Oh, removable teasing stick. Oh, you're supposed to take it out and play with it with him, like like use it like a wand. That's cool too. I like that. I get it. Well, that is a great little toy. I'm going to put it back in this so I can use the box upstairs too. We're going to put the whole thing up in his zone and I will get it all charged up and he will be playing with this. They will all be playing with it. Because like I said, we've got that cat grass toy that's the same idea uh, but with no motor and they go wild for that. Teaspoon still does too. It's the, the most commonly played with thing. So, uh, oh, what a good choice. All right, thank you so much for that. I got to stretch my legs out a little bit, buddy. My knees, oh my goodness. Oh, okay, hang on. Been a long mailbag there. All right, I'm going to put this in this box. Box one of two, box two of two. All right. I think this is from Rose, but I've covered it up, so let's find out. Nice knife protection. I wouldn't trust me either. The note, clearly labeled. J. Walter Weatherman's been out of a job for over a decade now. Oh, is it, I'm sure it's been that long at least, right? Uh, let's see. Dear Mr. A and Dr. DJ, hello to everyone at the Academy and hope all is well. First, I would like to congratulate, T congratulate, not congratulate, <laughs> Congratulate Teaspoon in his new role as Professor Teaspoon. He will be a great asset to the Academy with his calm and extremely sweet nature. The timey wimeys are getting bigger as each day passes. Calendar is an incredibly good mom to her six little ones. Soon they will be bigger than her. So cute. I wonder if January and Julian's tail will grow bigger or stay the way it is. I'm sending my usual mini blankets and toys for each of them to take to their forever homes. I'm also sending regular sized blankets. Hopefully they will keep the timey wimeys nice and toasty warm. It's been very cold here in Illinois. My three kittens have learned to burrow themselves under every blanket in the house. The treats and Charlie balls are to use as you see fit. Thank you for all you do to take care of the mom cats, non mom cats, faculty, and making a wonderful safe place on the internet. Uh, from Rose, Tucker, Toby, and Tessa. P.S. There are two boxes. I did not have one box that would fit everything. Okay. Mm. Still warm. Okay. Well, let's see. I see. You did send the regular, uh, the usual. These are your little packets of toys and blankets for each of them. This one is for holiday. And it's got a bunch of mice and a fur mouse and some springs and a little side looking kitty and some fun uh, fun tubes. And then a, a custom blanket that has owls, very cute big eye owls and a, a little gray pattern on the back. January gets the same kind of toys, well, slightly different set. And uh, let's see, this has anchors, whales, stars, uh, starfish, I assume then, and a little yellow pattern on the back. This one is Julian, gets uh, turtles, sea turtles, and little fishies. That's so cute. Gregorian gets whales and a plain blue on the back. 
I should say solid blue. And then Friday gets fish uh, with cute little scales and another one that looks like a fish scale pattern. Uh, I guess it must be waves, though, because there's a boat or something in it. I think it's a boat. Yes, it is a boat. Okay, there we go. It's the boat is just very, just on the edges of what I'm able to see there. So that's why it's so hard to tell, but there's definitely a boat. Here we have a big fleece throw that has tea cups on it. And one that has... Oh, uh, like a Native American kind of pattern or Southwestern pattern on it. And then a plaid. All right. Those are all very pretty. Plus, we have Nibbly Grills. I just had to throw out a bag of these because it expired so long ago. We haven't had these in a while, but I found a bag and I'm like, oh, that's super expired. Uh, kitties will love those. And some Churu, which they always love. Fantastic. Okay. Uh, where am I going to put all this, though? I guess this is the box that so far is going down for endowment time, so I don't know if this is all going to fit, though. I'm having the same problem you did. Look at that. Okay. Well, for now, we'll just pile it in there, and then we can rearrange in a minute. Getting close. All right, box two of two. Note in box one of two. All right, very clever. Here we have some classic toys. We have a bunch of, oh, these aren't mice, though. They're just balls. No rattle. Little furry balls. All right, it, is, it looks like a classic toy, but I don't think we've seen this one. Uh, of course, it is. Yes, they are. Look at that. Just little fur balls. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, wow. Well, maybe Teaspoon could use two of these yellow ones. Uh <laughs> oh, wow, good colors, too. Look at that. That's a great color. Okay, put a couple of those out. Here we have a box of Charlie Balls. Here we have uh, oh, a, a tube of Charlie Balls, the fancy ones. And two more of your blankets. This is Monday. It's uh, plaid and uh, I guess it's a gingham plaid and some whales and fish. There we go. Am I, am I saying that? Is it a gingham? Am I, is that, that word, sometimes words just come into my head and I don't know where they came from. That happens when you start to get old. Uh, let's see. Calendar gets elephants and pink elephants with little bumblebees. Very cute. Then we have a floral pattern. A mint green teacups. I think that was the last one as well. Uh, it wasn't green, though, was it? Maybe it was. I can see it back there a little bit. A very uh, vibrant plaid here. And the last one is a Dalmatian wearing a bandana. Very cute. All right. Great sets of fleece and toys and everything. This is going to be fantastic for all of them. Let's see. Really running out of room here. What am I doing? All right, I'm just going to keep moving. We've only got two more boxes, so I will sort all this out on my time after we're done opening things. Uh, for now, okay, just pile it up. There we go. Super respectful. That's what I am. I am. I, you know what I do? I really appreciate all of it. Don't, don't take the way I'm throwing things around. It's, oh, oh, wow, we almost missed one. All right, two and a half boxes. This is the half. Cats love you, E-W-E, -E, huh? That's a clever name. Oh, something in there. Very, very crinkly cellophane. Aw, hmm. hmm. happy belated birthday teaspoon. Wishing you a day filled with love, spoogles, treats, and chimkin from Bellamy. Thank you, Bellamy. And there's a little, like, cat here with uh, this chicken leg uh, wearing a winter hat. That's super cute. So it is. Look at that. It's a big old turkey chicken leg in the crinkliest. Wow, that is some very crinkly. That's the extra crinkly cellophane. Uh, this is a dense turkey chicken leg. I keep wanting to call it tur Wow, that is so loud. My goodness. Uh, that's got to be fun for the kittens, though. Oh, that's what I'm smelling. Wow, that is some strong nip in this thing. 
And it is a chicken leg for his chimkin closet. It's very cute. It's even got a little bit of the little bone sticking out on the end there. It's got really powerful catnip in it. Oh, man. And then uh, three extra little tiny balls that would we probably could put in that toy and they would get bounced around. How fun. Okay, I'm going to put it back in the super crinkly. Uh, ooh, that is loud stuff. So, Bellamy, uh, thank you very much. That is a very, very cute little birthday present for Teaspoon. He gets too much. He is a, a spoiled little kitty by all of you. Okay. Here is... This Oh my, what is all this? Silly poopies, hide and seek? Silly poopy. Okay, uh, Rose's letter needs to go with these. Okay, we got some tissues here. All right, wow, we have the world's biggest lobster toy. That is intense, uh, there's, there's the note. Okay, that is huge. There's a giant lobster in there. Mr. T. Spoon Jansen, lecturer extraordinaire. My goodness, I'm glad he's not in the room. That would go right to his head. Uh, oh, it's an ad libs, uh, no, mad libs uh, on this recycled paper. Wow, that's some cool recycled paper. It's like felt. And it says here, Dear Teaspoon, uh, this is filled in like mad libs. Dear Teaspoon, wishing an awesome birthday to my fave new faculty. Uh, that's an adjective relationship. I hope your first birthday is filled with toys and fun, and you get all sorts of treats, especially of the Chimkin variety. You are possibly the cutest uggo. Uh, <laughs> person is scratched out there to make room for uggo. You are possibly the cutest uggo I know, and you deserve plenty of spoogles. My life would be asterisk without you, so here's to many more healthy years of playing and lecturing. Love and lobsters. Uh, <laughs> Maya Bastet. I see the asterisk says less a doorbell because it could my life would be less a doorbell without you. It wouldn't fit. So that's why we get the asterisk. Okay, cool. Maya Bastet. This is adorable. Uh, <laughs> that's, uh, that's so cute. Little Mad Libs. Uh, those always cracked me up as a kid. Of course, every answer was poop. Sending happy birthday wishes to Dear Teaspoo. You are such a special kitten, and I'm so happy you are staying at KA forever. The ball track is for you. It's blue, just like your eyes will always be. Aww. Love and Lobsters? It says L and L, Maya. And I, how do I know that means love and lobsters? This has been going on for too long now, hasn't it? Uh, this is really cool. Ooh, wow. Handcrafted in the Philippines. Uh, and handmade recycled paper on a traditional letterpress. That is, that's why it feels so nice. That's just got a nice texture to it. It's almost, it's almost like thick, like cardboard though. So I don't know how you could use it all the time, but it's very nice. It's got a great feel. Okay, so there's another note. Note, 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 note. Okay. Ah. This one has a stick drawing of uh, uh, um, the uh, American Gothic. Yes, the, the farmer and his wife in front of the, the barn with the holding the pitchfork. Uh, but it's a stick figure drawing. It's very cool. What uh, uh, American Gothic by Grant Wood, it says. Um, okay, but not exactly, is it? Is it? Did I miss something? Okay, it says, Dear Mr. A and Dr. Dr. DJ, I'm sending along a few things for you and the kittens. I think you'll be able to tell which is which. I have also sent a birthday pr eh, custard, custard, custard. Yeah, you. Um, I'm sending along a few things for you and the kittens. I think you'll be able to tell which is which. I have also sent a birthday present for Darling Teaspoon. And of course, I couldn't forget about Poopiversary. So I hope you enjoy Poo that talks back. As always, thank you for the love and care you give to the mom cats and kittens and to all of us love and lobsters, Maya Bastet. P.S. Sorry for my handwriting. It's not very fancy. And say hi to Donkey Shane. Hi, Donkey Shane. He's right back there. Uh, dreamies. <laughs> so cute. Okay. Very cute. Okay. So, what have we got? We have 
um, some kind of heavy toy. Three in one. Oh, this is like the. Oh, wow. I was going to say this is like the three in one toy that they have upstairs, but it's different. It says upgraded version, and this one has the butterfly toy on top which is even cooler and it's got a ball track that has the holes cut out on top so you can see the balls from the top which I think is a nice feature to have in a ball track and then it's also got that little pokey toy that sticks out the sides this is perfect 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 for teaspoon and I love the fact that it has the butterflies on top that is a nice addition to the equation there that is a high quality three-in-one toy Let's see if I can fit it back in here to go upstairs. Wow, his whole room. This is really like a birthday. I remember uh, this is all of a sudden and just taking me back to birthdays I had when I was a kid. And there would be so many new things then, like my whole room would be uh, filled with all kinds of new toys every birthday. So generous. Uh, this appears to be a tiny little felted ball shooter. Wow. Like a real cowboy six gun uh, kind of style here. And let's just see if we can figure it out. Let's try this. I think you just put the ball in the end here. You got to pack it in like a um, one of those old timey. Uh, oh man, what is the word for those guns? Uh, it's right on the tip of my brain. Okay, well, it's not going to come. Uh, that's fine. So here we go. Let's see what happens. I'm just going to shoot it right at the camera. Why not? Uh, I'll tell you why not. I packed it in a little too tight. That'll happen. All right, let's try this instead of packing it in. Let's push the lever. Okay, come on now. There we go. Push the lever and just set it in. All right, now let's see what we get. Yeah, that's the way. All right. Woo, that's fun. All right, one more time. You feel lucky, punk? Oh, almost hit the camera right on that time. Perfect. That's a lot of fun. That is going to be so fun. And I especially like the fact that it shoots just like generic little uh, felted or furry balls. That way we know we never are going to run out. That makes it extra special. That's the thing I, about the, so many of these toys, you know, they have some proprietary little shape to them uh, that then you're like, well, as soon as I lose all those balls, it's just garbage then. Uh, this one looks like it's going to be able to fit stuff for a long time. I love it. Speaking of things I love, let's get this uh, big lobster out of the way. Wow, that is a giant, giant lobster. Look at these huge corduroy claws in front. Oh, man. And he's got little hearts on his face. Oh, he's a Valentine lobster. Well, he's got to stay out here then. And he's got the, the kittens will love to play with these. They're all completely asleep, even the one in my lap. You can just sit. Oh, and those two are on that little mat together. How cute. Uh, do you think if I get him on top of that cube, he's not going to crush it? He's a little heavy. And I don't know if I can hit it from here either. Oh, nailed it. Oh, wow. Except he fell on his side. All right. Proud of myself. Coffee bark? Oh, man. Handcrafted layers of premium dark and velvety white chocolates blended with dark roasted Pete's coffee. Oh, I can't even. This is... All right. Oh, man. It's like a big giant sheet of it. Oh, that is a lot. Two? Two big giant sheets of it. Completely unbroken. That's kind of nice. Time for a coffee break, it says. Well, I love coffee and I love chocolate. Uh, you can't go wrong like that. It's even got a nice tin. Look at that. I love the old-timey sort of style there, and it's, a, it's an actual tin, 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 tin. Uh, thank you very much for that. Something here says fun. Ah, lobster pot holders. <laughs> All right. <laughs> We've really got a thing going. Oh, man. You almost pushed that into the water dish. I would have been really, I would have been jumping up for that. Okay, let's see here. Well, it's, I don't know what I was expecting. It's exactly what it is. It's a lobster two. Is it one or two? I can't tell if it's two. It is two put together. Okay. Uh, perfect little lobster claw, silicone pot holder. Well, that's so cute. I use my, um, I use my cast iron skillet all the time. And I always have to grab a towel or something to pick it up because it's just got a cast iron handle on it. And it gets, 
I use it because it gets incredibly hot. Like, I mean, like the surface of the sun. You need to do that for some things. And uh, this is going to be fun for that. <laughs> uh, oh, I feel like a lobster now. Okay. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing. Boop. Okay. There we go. They can just hold itself there. And then finally, silly poopies. It says, silly poopies. Um, hide and seek. Oh, I see. Silly poopy. Wow. Oh, well, that's very cool looking. It's a rainbow poop. Hide me, find me. I give clues. Try me, I sing. Well, we're going to wake everybody up, aren't we? <laughs> that is very silly. <laughs> okay, hide silly poopy, look for silly poopy, find silly poopy, sing and dance to silly poopy's fun song. Well, that's extremely silly. It's extremely poopy. I can't imagine what would be more appropriate. Uh, that's really fun. <laughs> uh, he's got such a cute face. Oh, 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 oh my goodness, Harry. No, no, hang on, Harry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, buddy. Here, let me say I'm sorry. Mwah. Oh my goodness. Uh, yeah, I just slipped right out of my hands. That was a very slippery poop. Okay. All right. Are we calm now? Fry's going to come back. Okay. All right. Well, we'll set that over here for the moment. <laughs> that is a very silly poopy. All right. That might be a good box to put the endowments into in a minute. One last thing. But wait, there's one last thing we got to do. Uh, let's see. Kid Academy, attention teaspoon. It says Bremel One. I think that might be who it's from. Let's find out. Maybe there's a note too. Ooh, weird. Three layer cat turntable. Hmm. What could it mean? Oh, part one of two, Breezy Melody, Bree Mel, ah, uh -huh, brain, okay. Uh, enjoy gift, happy birthday, teaspoon. If the ball track arrives assembled or unassembled, take out bell and some balls, level one, mint, maybe. The teasers are added fun. I don't know what any of that means, but maybe we will find out. Oh, there is a bell. I hear something jingly. Oh, oh, this looks like a very fancy ball track. Oh, it's heavy. It's uh, just like Teaspoon, a very dense toy for a dense kitty. Made out of some real wood. Oh my. There we go. Uh huh. Oh, I see. Take out Bell. Yeah, I see, because it's a very jingly, but I don't think we have to take it out. That could be fun. And the top part is spinny. So here we've got a two-layer uh, solid wood. Like, this thing is made to last. I like that. j -own, it says on it. It's got cute little um, pads on the bottom to hold it. It's got a very jingly bell on the bottom. I see you're saying take it out, because otherwise we won't get any sleep with that in the bedroom, because it is very noisy. And then this must be something that goes in that top spinny part. Oh, lots of something. Oh, we got replacements. Hang on, let's open this up. Now, why is there a tool? We don't need a tool to put these in with, do we? I see, it's got jingly bells on these too, and they come in white and in blue. Oh, and in the two-tone. And the toy, the tool must be in case we need to tighten things up, perhaps. Oh, oh, you know what? I bet it's in case we want to take the balls out. That's that's exactly it. Yes. So instead of trying to pull them out and potentially damaging them, you can just undo this and pull the toys out. That's so cool that they include that in here. And then uh, we can put the little uh, pom poms here on top. I think. Um, should we do one blue?
That reminds me of like the ears of uh, the ears of a fraggle, not the ears, the little buns. I don't know, uh, whatever it was that uh, that fraggle had on her head. <laughs> I don't know. It's just a vague memory at this point. That's uh, that's fun for me. I think I'm going to play with that for a while. Uh, very cool. Like I said, they include a little tool so you can undo it and to get the balls in and out in a safe way. And they include so many spare pom poms since those are surely going to be. Uh, destroyed in due time. That is a, a really nice toy. Thank you, Breezy Melody One, Bremel. Uh, perfect. So many wonderful things for a little teaspoon. I hope that it's okay if he shares those with everybody because uh, it's too much for one teaspoon. Certainly, you guys are, are just so generous and, and loving and, and fantastic, and I don't know what else to say. Except I have a lot of cleanup to do now, so I'm going to get to it, even though I've got two tiny little sleepy kitties right here. How would you two like to hold, uh, keep my uh, bed warm for me, my chair, keep my seat for me, okay? You want to do that, or are you going to go see your siblings when I get up? Let's find out. Going to disturb everything. This is this is really quality. That's uh, that's nice stuff. Okay, all right. Let's get up first, and then we can do this. I'm so excited about that little uh, puzzle. I don't know what to call it—the puzzle toy that bounces the balls around inside. That's just a—it's a clever thing. I've never seen it before, and uh, I think it's going to be a big hit. And I love that it's got a motion sensor on it, so you can set it up in there, and every time they walk by, it'll start getting their attention. It doesn't even need that, of course. The regular one gets their attention all the time, too. Don't slide off of there, buddy. I'm just trying to keep you on. There you go. Okay. Just like that. Perfection. All right. Well, uh, let me get to it. I'm going to turn this mic off right now. floor camera does not have a mic. <clears throat> where is Teaspoon for all of this? I see where Holly is now. Holly's been in the rocket by herself. I guess we can put that on. Why don't we? Oh, Maggie's in the box. Yes, I said your name. Don't get up. Let me show you real quick. I don't know why I said in the box when I meant in the pod. Probably because that camera is on our network called Box Cam because it used to be in a box. They say it was called Box Cam on our network, but it's called Tank in our hearts. Okay. And on its name tag. He's that big guy. <laughs> this is so goofy. All right. He's not going to stay up there, but that's fine for now. Let's organize these endowments. So like, whoa, I knew that was going to happen. Three boxes, though? I guess so. All right. 
We got so many toys. It really is like a kid's birthday. It's so cute. These all go to the kitchen. Stand out on that too. Cute little lion head. I think I can throw you all the way to the jungle room. Let's see. Oh, not if I do it that way. Yeah, there we go.
this was going to go upstairs. This was going to go upstairs. You bring those with the teaspoon stuff. Oh, one more box. Hang on. Mom just sent me a text that says muzzle loader, or at least it just came through. So I think that she's trying to tell me what kind of gun that is, but that's definitely not the word I was looking for. I'm looking for something that's, uh, uh, oh man, I'm not getting it. I don't know. Maybe, maybe, maybe there's not a word and that's why I'm not getting it. No, don't get me wrong, muzzle loader is very descriptive of what it is. It, that's not that's not that's not giving whatever was on the tip of my brain, so Done playing in these boxes?
Okie dokie. Well, hey, uh, that was another mailbag. It was a fantastic one. I can't wait for Teaspoon to put in all of his toys. That'll probably be this evening, though. Like, after 5 is when I would expect DJ to be up. Um, or if she sleeps in a little bit, maybe after 6. <laughs> so, uh, that's probably when we'll really get those toys deployed in the bedroom. But, uh, I, I, can't, I can't thank you all that for taking such good care of our boy, and such good care of us, but mostly such good care of all these kittens um, and their adopters. Those are people who really count. So, uh, thank you to everybody. How you got that, Harry? You like that one, huh? Yeah, that tail on there is fun. Man, right when I get the camera on and he leaves it, of course, peek kitty. Oh, I take it that sound didn't work. I see somebody switched it. Okay. Uh, oh, did I end the recording? I don't think I did. Hang on. I got distracted. All right. Bye, everybody. There we go. All right. Now it's done.